Good morning and happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I really missed you. Today is April 6th, Monday again, like I said, and we are going to start right with math and our visual learning um, video for today, okay? And we are doing lesson 12.3, and in your book, it is page 474. So if you have your math book out with you, you can open it up. 474 is the page that we'll be working on. And, um, but first we're gonna watch the, the video, okay? So, let's so do this here. And let's start. Whoops, I forgot to hit this button. So, I need to do this. Okay, now it'll work. What do you know about shapes with four sides? Let's see. Look at the shape that is traced. How many sides does the shape have? So if you're sitting there at home, you probably know what this shape is, okay? They asked you how many sides it has. I hope you're holding up with your hand, maybe. How many sides do we think it has? All right, I'm holding up this many right here. Let's see if you got it right. It has four sides. How many vertices does the shape have? Oh, so last week we talked about vertices and there was another name for it, okay? The other name for vertices is corners, okay? So in case you forgot that, vertices are also corners. So it has four sides. How many vertices does it have? So let's see. You can show me with your fingers, you can yell it out, do however you want. It has four vertices. Are all of the sides the same length? Ooh, so it asked if all the sides are the same length. So I look at this top one here, this is pretty short, and I look at this side one here, and this is really long. So I, I don't think so. No, all of the sides are not the same length. This shape is called a rectangle. If you knew it was a rectangle, give me two thumbs up. What shape does this dollar bill have? The dollar bill has the shape of a rectangle. How do you know it is a rectangle? So just like last week in our videos when we talked about traits, we talked about circles having no sides, right? They're round. We talked about triangles having three sides. Those are the traits of that shape. So now it says, how do you know it is a rectangle? Tell me some traits about this shape. Come on, tell me, let me hear it. Yell it out nice and loud. I want your mom to hear it. I want your dad to hear it. I want your dog to hear it. Tell them how you know this is a rectangle. Let's see if you got it right. It has four sides and four vertices. The opposite sides are the same length. Now look at the shape that is traced. How many sides does the shape have? Okay, so again, how many sides does it have? You can count on the screen right here. You can point your mouse to it. Okay, you can just point your finger at it if you want to see, but you should know how many sides there are for the shape. It has four sides. How many vertices does the shape have? Oh, how many vertices? It has four vertices. Are all of the sides the same length? So when we're looking at this now, they, they say, are all the sides the same length? Now we have a short side here, a short side here, short side here, and a short side on this side too. So I think they all look like the same side. What do you think? Yes, all of the sides are the same length. This shape is called a square. A square is a special rectangle because it has four sides, four vertices, and its sides are all the same length. What shape does this cracker have? Well, so instead of hitting the triad, we're just gonna answer that. What shape does this cracker have? I hope you're telling somebody at home, maybe your brother, maybe your sister. Are you telling me? I'm listening. Come on, I can hear you through the screen. 
The cracker has the shape of a square. How do you know it is a square? All right, so again, we're using our trait words. All right, what kind of traits? How many sides? How many vertices? What do you know about squares that's helping you decide that this is a square, right? What are some of the traits you know that make sure, oh, I know a square has this. I know a square has that. Let's see if they agree with you. It has four sides and four vertices. The four sides are the same length. Oh, I hope you said that when you're talking about a square. That's really important, okay? Squares, the four sides are the same length. Okay, so with the square here, all these sides have to be the same length for it to be a square, all right? So now you know how you can do squares and rectangles, or you know how to identify them. So we are going to go to our workbook, all right? What is this really? Uh, okay, so it's asking me to log back in here. I have to do this really fast, and then I will reshare my screen so that we can be logged in all right so sometimes it just times out and the worksheet or the uh, workbook has to be re-uploaded and logged in for it to load on my screen so you have page 474 out right now okay you should be looking at a picture of number one there and there's a circle, I see a, something else that's purple, I see a green shape, I see a red shape, right? I hope you see these same shapes. I'm about to bring it up right now on the screen, okay? So let me do this. I'm looking at it in my workbook as well. Here we go. So now that I can share my screen again, here we go. Some of you might be wondering what these glasses are, okay? You're like, Mr. Nielsen, I know you don't have glasses. They're just for when I'm looking at the computer screen. They help me see better, help me see through, make sure you're working. All right. So I see for today, we are right here, page 474. Okay. Sorry about that. 474. And this just simply was asking to color in the rectangle and put an X on the square in this top row. Okay. So that was number one. They do number one for you. All right, so let's do number two, though. Let's color in the rectangle. If you have a pencil, you can do that. If you have a crayon, you can do it with that. Color in the rectangle and put an X on the square, okay? Now, if you see the directions, it says put an X on each rectangle that is also a square. So hold up. What do they mean by that, okay? What they mean is rectangles can also be squares, okay? So a rectangle... All we know about rectangles is that they have four sides and four vertices. So that's anything that's a rectangle has four sides and four vertices. Well, this right here has four sides and four vertices, this shape right here. But guess what? It also has four of the same size sides. Okay, that makes it a square. So sometimes rectangles can be squares. Can a square be a rectangle though? No. Okay, no, it cannot. And I hope you were shouting that out. I hope you already knew that. If you didn't, you learn something new every day, right? Okay, so let's go to number three here. On my page, it says number three. All you are doing is coloring the rectangle and putting an X on the rectangle that's also a square. Okay, so you are going to color in the rectangle for number three, actually, and number four, if you want to go ahead and do three and four, and put an X on the rectangle that's also a square. Huh. So if you're getting a little confused, I'm going to do number three with you. So it says color in the rectangle. Okay, I'm going to color it in to the best of my ability. Okay, I color this in. And then it says, you know, color in the rectangle. So we know squares are actually rectangles. Okay, this is actually a rectangle right here, but we also know that this is a square. So I'm also going to put an X over it. So I want to color it in because it's a rectangle, and I want to put an X over it because it's also a square. Okay, so hopefully you can do that for number four. You can do that one on your own then. Color all the rectangles, okay? 
So I'm gonna go through color my rectangles here. And I know this is actually a rectangle as well. And then it says put an X over the rectangles that are also a square, okay? So don't let them confuse you, all right? You're smart enough to know rectangles are all four sides and four vertices, all those shapes. Squares are just the ones that have the same size sides, okay? All right, for number five, I'm gonna read it to you. Number five says, draw a circle around the objects that look like a rectangle. So all the objects that are rectangles in here. Now remember, rectangles are four sides and four vertices. So I'm gonna go through and circle some. I'm gonna circle this. I'm gonna circle this because it has four sides and it has four vertices. I'm gonna circle this one. I hope you circled this one. And there's one more. Now it doesn't matter if it's up and down or if it's side to side, okay? This is still a rectangle right here. All right, this is a triangle. We don't need that. We learned about that last week. This is not a rectangle. This is not a rectangle. This is not a rectangle. And this clock is definitely not a rectangle. So it says now put an X on the rectangles that are also squares, just like we did on the other one. Put an X over the ones that are also squares. Is this a square right here? No. Is this a square? Yes. Put an X over that one. Is this a square as well? Yes. Good job. Put an X on that one in your notebook. All right, so this is all you had to do for number five. Put an X on them if they were also a square and circle them if they were rectangles. All right, let's move on. You're doing great so far. Let's finish up these five problems here. And I know we have some friends that can go ahead and do all of these at once. So I'm gonna just give you the directions and then you can do this page until number 10 on your own. So number six, seven, eight, and nine, you are coloring in the rectangles and then marking an X on the square. Same thing we've been doing, okay? Circle all the rectangles, put an X on the ones that are also a square. Okay. You can color in the rectangles, you can circle the rectangles. All right, I'm gonna color it in for this page and I'm gonna go through on my own and I'm gonna do it and you can check your work to make sure you got it right. So color in the rectangles. I'm coloring in here, I'm coloring in this one. And then an X if it is a square. Well, this is definitely a square. Okay, for that's number six. Number seven, let me color in the rectangles. Okay, here's a rectangle, here's a rectangle. Now I hope you're drawing and your coloring looks a lot better than mine because Mr. Nielsen is trying to do it on his computer and it is not very easy, okay? So I'm doing my best, you already knew that. And then this is a square, so we put an X over it. Number eight, color in the rectangle, same thing. Color it in. Color this one in. I hope you color this one in. Remember, if you finished, you should be checking your work to make sure you got it right. And I'm putting an X over the one that is also a square. For number nine, it was this shape was a rectangle. This is a rectangle, but then there's one that's also a square. This right here was also a square. So I have to X it out. All right, if you did all those, you got them all right. You rock, give yourself a pat on the back. Say, oh yeah. All right, number 10. Have students draw a green rectangle and then a yellow square. Draw me a green rectangle. If you don't have crayons, just do a pencil. Draw me a rectangle. Draw me a square in this box for number 10. Then you're done with this for the day. You are going to go on your Pearson Realize and under my work, and you are going to hit the quick check, okay, and the practice buddy for the week and the, or for the day, those two, the 12.3 practice buddy, the 12.3 quick check, do those, and then you are done for the day with math. I hope you have a great rest of your day.